Last time on Barmy, I met a man who lives in the 1940s. I'm Joe. Hi, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Oh, yeah. Good, yeah. With a few exceptions. I yeah. don't always cover up my little hidden telly. But today's dinner isn't one of them. This is suet pastry, some bacon if you're lucky enough to get some, potato and onion. Have we got time to go for a little yeah, one? Yeah, absolutely. Let's yeah. do it. Let's Just get some fresh air. It's such a nice day. My name is Joe Cowan, and I'm on a mission to meet the military obsessives who take things to the next level. Go on then, which one's your car? Uh-oh. The Yaris, Yaris, is it? Yeah. So have you ever had any like um, funny comments when you're out in the street? No, because like I said, I don't normally dress up like it, so... Um, you don't? Yeah. No, I just blend in. Just what goes on behind closed doors, people don't know about, do they? Unless <laughs> okay, they happen got to you. know. <laughs> so it's almost, like a, it's almost like a dirty little secret. I know, it is. Yeah. I used to meet this 40s woman, because people were trying to marry us off. She's like the woman that lives in 1939. I'm the man that lives in 1946. People are trying to marry us off. Oh, really? And um, she turned out to be really weird. So, she was weird. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just yeah. 1930s kind of weird. Because yeah, she was. Um, she started. She's into all this. Is it S and M? Is it a S and M? Chained? And why I needed to know all that when I'd only just met, I only wanted to pop round and have like vintage afternoon tea with her. <laughs> I didn't need to know and what she's she straight got in a, showing a you. Her, she had a dungeon. <laughs> this must have been before your current partner. You never have mentioned it. Oh, no, this was, um, yeah, it, Gavin. This is um, Gary, is it? Gavin. Gavin, sorry. This is, um, no, this was only like last year. Oh, really? I, I just want, the yeah, answer's all innocent. I just want to say, oh, you live in the 40s, I'm in the 40s. You probably have area, a few things around. to talk yeah, about, yeah. Then I see your house, win the area, just pop around for a tea. And one minute it's all rationing and um, tea leaves and stuff, and the next minute it's all, um, yeah, leather gear. And, yeah, yeah, there we go. But yeah, some funny people out there. So is it quite difficult to convince Gavin to move down here? Well, he's, like I say, he's only just on the other side of Godmanchester, so... Um, he is, yeah? yeah? So what, he's like a yeah. drive or a walk? Yeah, I, it, just drive for convenience, but if it's a nice day, I'll walk, yeah. So I'm just on the edge of town, so... Nice. New build, because it's all new build, Gavin, it's all new stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, shiny, new, modern. <laughs> and so why was it that he didn't move in with you, then? He's got his own place. Yeah, well, he just likes his independence, really. And you quite like having your own space as yeah. well? Yeah, yeah, it just yeah. works for It's us. like a mutual arrangement. Yeah. So, well, yeah. you've got quite a unique relationship, but it sounds like it works for you guys. <laughs> it certainly does. Yeah, that's the main thing. Yeah. Yeah, see, there's somebody out there for everybody, isn't there? So I did despair up until 10 years ago. <laughs> yes. I hope so. But I think, you know, as well, it really works. Opposites do attract. It's a cliche, but... And in um, your case, it's... Yeah, uh, I mean, I've met vintage people before and been sort of... But it's never Is that what you'd call worked. yourself, a vintage person? <laughs> um, I suppose, yeah. People are like, I think you can be too alike and it doesn't work, really. I think yeah. it's um, good to have a contrast. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, it seems to be working for you. Yeah, it does, like, actually, I'm sure eventually. A lot, a lot of while. people would, from the, from the outside, it sounds very bizarre and a bit weird what you get up to, but... Well, the thing is, I think, it's just... Like I say, I don't normally dress up. I don't every day cook on the range. I've got a modern cooker. Yeah. It's just part of me, you know? So it's just the look without taking it to the extreme, I think. I think, I mean, that, that one up in North, she'd be filling her tin bath in front of the fire because she hadn't got a bathroom. And for me, that's just too much. She's like living it to the to extreme. The, to the extreme, yeah. You know, she only would have an outside toilet where I say, yeah, I've got an outside toilet, but I've got a modern one indoors, of course. Yeah. So I think it's just having the balance, balance isn't it? Yeah. Would you say you're a little bit balmy? Eccentric. Eccentric is the word, is it? But every, everyone loves a good English eccentric, I think. Yeah, they Britain do. Britain was built on eccentrics. So they do, they do. I felt like I knew Ben even better after our walk, and his lifestyle wasn't feeling so strange anymore. 
so how would you describe your lifestyle to someone who didn't know who you were or what you were about? Is it a hobby? Is it a lifestyle? Is it like a... Well, I mean, because I work with different people every day, that's my job, there's thousands of us, so um, always working with different people. Mm. Um, sometimes after a couple of days working with them, it might come up and I'll say something and they like, what? And I say, oh, I, I, just, I, I just live vintage. I live vintage 40 style or period style or something. Mm. Um, some people might say, oh, that's nice. And others might say, what do you mean? I need, need pictures. And, <laughs> and it takes a bit of explaining. Yeah. yeah. Was BA around in the 40s? I don't know. Yeah, forerunner. It's, um, Imperial Airways was a forerunner. Yeah. So um, if they were like, we've got this nice old school uniform for you. Yeah, they did do that recently. They did all the different um, uniforms throughout the years. And they actually did it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, there wasn't in the 40s as such because of the war. It yeah. was only... Um, Mainly, more into the 50s, the pre-war, Imperial, yeah, yeah, Imperial Airways in the 30s, and then it was post-war. Um, but, um, but so, how, like, what? How would you define it? I guess the, my question is, what the way I live? Yeah, um, like, is it a hobby? Because you kind yeah. of pick and choose between certain aspects, so it's not a yeah. lifestyle. No, no, it's just a hobby. I think it's um, um, I don't know. It's just a hobby. Yeah, it's um. It's what I do. It's what I've always done. Um, it's just what you'll always do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I know. I think um, if you took it away, I don't know. I could get a PlayStation like you, wouldn't I, or something? Yeah. It doesn't I mean, really I'm very lucky. No one's ever been really awful because mm. of the way I live or the way I am or anything. I think I'm quite lucky to yeah. have experienced that. Certainly would have done in the forties, and uh, or even just living. Um, you know, just the way things are. Things are very different. I don't know if you're um, really is sort of, I don't know what the word is, loopy as it might seem on the outside because say like last night I finished work yeah. and I get home and I just check Instagram, right. go through emails, you know, I'm on YouTube yeah. and stuff right. and I n never really spoke to anyone and I always get yeah. to the end of the night like what have I d actually done yeah. tonight yeah. and you're just kind of in this realm that doesn't really yeah. exist. I think people now they're, they're in danger of getting lost, you know, and all this, you know. Um, Losing that kind of yeah. some morals, would you say? Yeah. Or just some point. common courtesy. Yeah, that and just um, just social skills, you know. It's um, I just think it's a funny old way we're going, isn't it? Grab a couple of uh, yeah, sure. place medicine. There's one here. Uh, where am I looking? Just by this iPad, Ben. Um, yeah, so that's my modern corner. I've got my loft in that modern corner. There's an oh, iPad, iPhone. Shocking. That's not bad, is it? That's one little corner. Yeah, This looks amazing. A proper <laughs> 40 style. Just a little tester plate, just to, uh, yeah. Test your palette for 40 style. Hey? Amazing. Well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Stuck in. Mm. Mm. I haven't had suet for years. Yeah, it's nice. Um, you can do it in the oven as well. It makes it a bit sort of um, crunchy on the outside, which is nice. A bit crispy, um, yeah. yeah. I think this is definitely something that's lacking these days as well, as like meal times. A lot of people just eat on the go, mm -hmm. or they'll eat in their room by mm. themselves. I do it often. Mm -hmm. and. I think it's a shame. Yeah, this is all from scratch. Everyone's yeah, together absolutely. And yeah, and all together. Yeah. So like I say, if you imagine the whole process, if you even growing your own vegetables to cook first, and you're growing them as a family, and then cultivating them as a family, and then eating them together, it's... Um, yeah. I used to have stuff growing in a tin bath. I'm a bit more lazy these days, and just grow the odd tomato and stuff. I'm really impressed with this. My time with Ben was nearly over. I was sad to be leaving this unique home. This moment in history, frozen in time. So do you think that the, the war is something that's had a massive impact on why you kind of chose the 40s to immerse yourself in? Like, is it something that really fascinates you about that? And it's obviously a really sort of mm. pivotal and interesting time in history. 
but sort of, I guess, why the 40s and not the 50s or the 30s? No, I don't, I don't know really. I just, um, it's only, like I say, really recently when I put up a 50s border because I suddenly felt, oh, I just want to move on a little bit. Just I like a that bit. though, is that you're not, you're like. That's a big deal for me. Like, but you're, it's yeah. like chronological, so it's yeah. like. It's it's a natural kind uh -huh. of progression that would have happened. Yeah, I was thought, that I'm just going to do it. I'm going to get a post-war table and I'm going to put a 50s board up. And just, yeah, because, yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of... Um, but I'm sort of stuck in that era, mm. for sure. Oh. But um, but like I said, when I was really little... I'll show you that book, right? It's what I found when I was little. <laughs> and I thought, this is... this is, I used to read this over and over when I was a little kid. What's book. the book called? People. It's only a children's book. People. It's still going. And I was, I, was, I, was, I was four at the time. Yeah. And I found it recently up in the loft, and I thought, I've done, this is me now. It's quite scary, really, how you can go from. This, um, this chap actually <laughs> looks quite like you. Yeah, he does. If, that if you top had one. that uh, uh, tank top. How old's this book, do you think, then? Well, it's set in the force, it's set during the war. Oh, so and it's I not. I thought, that, that's me stood there in my bucket of coal. Look. Hold on. You. Obviously, had this book as a child. I love that book. I read it. Could over you just stand by the door there, please, then? Hang on, let me put. Because it's uncanny, isn't it? It's it almost because you've it, even got like the. And the I green swear, I only ever found that book in the loft recently, and I thought I've recreated that without even realising it. <laughs> this is amazing. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, oh, Ben, no, that's amazing. Yeah. So I think <laughs> what's happened here is you've read this as a child. Yeah. And it's had some subconscious impact yeah, on you. Yeah, but it is, isn't it? So the taps are exactly the same. You've got the green paint on the doors. <laughs> and we, you've, you've got yeah. You've, you the can't see the range there. If you look on the another table, page, cloth is exactly the same, Ben. Oh my God! Yeah, the, the table cloth. So, see, I don't even know. So this is yeah. this is not kind of like isn't a deliberate. You haven't so done this on purpose little, at all. What you teach kids, isn't it? You know. That's really uncanny. This is really um, plate, quite I've fascinating. Got, I've that noticed, um, this is obviously stuck in your head I've all got this that time. Plate, the oxo that plate's in there. And that blue and white striped bowl, I even noticed. I mean, how weird is that? It's all that here. Bowl, yeah. It's literally Just all here. Uncanny. So oh my days, do you think that Ben. It? I'm not having it. I'm not having it. No. What? George is here. Is that George? Oh, Joe, you're scaring me now. Is there a little dog? You have modelled your life <laughs> off this book. I'll tell you, there's the outside. <laughs> Ben, this is your. Oh, yeah, I know, house. and then yeah, that's I've got that. And that. This is you. It's weird, isn't it? This I is just, you, amazing. I totally had no idea when I found that in the loft. I was like, I've made that book come to life without even realising it. Ben, so, this is this is actually spooky. And you're the first person I've shown that to. All these interviews. There's the meadow we just walked around. Yeah. <laughs> and there's the bombed houses. I always used to love look at the bombed houses. Oh yeah, in the you've got a, a Zeppelin, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, that so could, I think that is, explains it, doesn't it? I think you've nailed it This there, is This almost feels like a film now, and like yeah. you've come out of the book. Because people always say, well, where did it start? I said, oh, I don't know, really, but you're the first. But I only thought of that, and I thought, I'm going to dig that book out, and I thought, there you go. Pupo. <laughs> so, I was only four, so... Uh, That's yeah. amazing, because this, this so is actually... So, if you actually, imagine, yeah. This has actually completely shaped your life. Well, it's nice. So you're obviously hanging on to a special time in your yeah, childhood, I, I guess. Yeah, I think because I had a really nice childhood, so maybe it's subconsciously keeping that era going as well. The this is actually blowing anything. my mind a little bit. I know I keep going on about it, but because no, I, I am in, I'm yeah. stood in a room that this was kind of but modelled off. I only found that after this was all finished. Isn't yeah. that weird? And I, I really had no idea it was so alike, and I just thought, well, there you go. Because Mum said, oh, always, she was always having to read that book. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's magic. Yeah. Um, and Hope and Glory, he's on the, yeah. Hope and Glory's a yeah, big one. I've got that, is a, that is a great film. Yeah. I, I love mean, that film. That influence in the front room is largely taken from the film, The Sunrise Door, mm. um, the, the shape of the suite, the art deco was all yeah. from Hope and Glory. Well, Ben, thank you so much for uh, having welcome. me today. It's, it's been, been good great. Fun. Yeah, I've enjoyed it's it. It's been an yeah. experience, an eye opener, definitely. But. Nice one. Yeah, Cheers. it's been really interesting to see see how you live and um, like I said earlier, I, I did think it was a little bit weird before I came here, but to um, to meet you and just see that you're just doing you, yeah, I that's think it. it's great. That's I all think we can do, great. isn't it? Yeah. And I think uh, you know there's a lot that people could learn from you about just doing your own thing and yeah. being yourself. Yeah. So yeah, well, thank you very much for having us. You're welcome. Cheers. Nice, nice. one. Right, Wish you all the best. Cheers. Yeah, thank yeah. You. Take it easy. Bye, yeah. Georgie boy. <laughs> see you later, bud. All right. All right, cheers, Ben. Safe drive. 
Next time on Barmy, there's a World War I trench. And this particular dugout is leaking like a sieve, so it would be very, very unpopular. More tea. That's not bad, is it? Well, I'm really, really enjoying that. And I take a closer look at <laughs> the ground. <laughs>